How many total options of UTOTS right wing are there in this particular game? So, hello my dear subscribers, welcome back to the channel guys. How you guys are doing and what's going on in your life of course. Guys, in team of the season, uh, I mean an ultimate team of the season, today I will be comparing ultimate team of the season Di Maria and ultimate team of the season Sala. Now, why Di Maria compared to Sala? Because he has gotten uh, right wing as his alternate position and despite having bad skill points, still this card is actually, you know, like uh, tempting me to... I was really tempting myself like I have to get him you know so before we move on to this particular video guys I have something amazing for you today that is a trios tournament has been organized in Batcave server where I am co-owner guys and let me talk about this tournament in detail what you have to do it's a trios tournament so you have to be three players and you have to register with your single team there are 36 teams which will be registered in this particular tournament as you can see as an example in discord server eafc registration channel these two teams have been registered with three players each now these three players can be of your choice only guys so definitely just imagine like you are getting the players of your choice in this particular tournament then you are actually battling with all of the other opponents teams so yes this will be real fun guys and we have also organized the six thousand price pool which i'm also there uh, like i'm having a little bit contribution of the sponsorship there so don't forget to join the discord server of the bat cave the link has been popped up in the description and also you can join my discord server as well and guys lastly it's only for isc i'm very sorry about that i'll be actually organizing for more region tournaments so a uh, little bit sorry for that but let's move on to our uh, this particular video guys so we're gonna test angel d maria first as you can see he has gotten a little bit less space but still guys he's gotten five star skill move and two alternate position that is pretty fine right mid and right wing but you know his dribbling stats are actually justifying it all that yes he yes he is really good and crazy d maria has also already always gotten a very good dribbling in the game you know so i tested him in various head to head matches guys and guess what what i noticed as you can see here now when i'm going to talk about the d maria guys first of all advantages of elastico the five skill move gives you an advantage of elastico and after that guys his elastico skill stun is really very well because his height is 511 which is actually providing a lots of good skill stun to him as you can see here his joystick is so smooth man look at that elastico and shoots what a goal so di maria feels just too 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 smooth in this particular game guys as you can see here robert Lewandowski. i'm actually fine di maria and a nice pass by vanneken after heal to heal, his pace also feels very good. It's not like 124 pace is bad, but what is the best part about, uh, about Angel Di Maria guys that his dribbling, he can literally stun any defender, doesn't matter it is Prime Icon 19 and Maldini, you know, as you can see here, his acceleration is very good. So you don't have to care about his pace if you are actually trying, like planning to get him because I have, I have already gotten him, you know, guys, uh, when I usually play in the head to head matches, my base gameplay is from the right wing side and I love dribbling. So Angel Di Maria gave me that feel and the elastic advantage has always been great. And you know, what is the advantage of this particular card? Like when the 96 rated of Di Maria has been released, he was having four star stamina, but this time the stamina has a bit improved so this time he's ha he has gotten 4.5 star which is really good and he does that again guys his acceleration is so damn good like despite having 124 pace he feels just really fast which is an absolute advantage for a card like angel de maria as you can see here his heal to heal to heal is also very explosive in the uh, in the matches guys and it last look at that bro so beautiful like if you're gonna do elastico at timing guys it it will give you like a satisfying feeling you know there we go towards angel di maria and that is an explosive heel to heel and whole field is empty for him and this could be an easy goal but we're gonna actually score it with class so let's go lane change that's a nice goal in the pack of the net by angel di maria guys so definitely a top card there so this is white so if you are gonna actually uh, ask me about a certain cons then i felt no certain cons about this card even this card has gotten 128 passing which actually makes him really very effective in the head to head when you want to pass to your cms because right now i'm playing him in 433 holding formation his positioning also feels very good elastico there and i'm gonna try the power shot with weak foot that's a beautiful strike in the back of the net again with his weak foot guys so swipe power shot is always effective you know doesn't matter if you are striking from the three weak foot as well elastico again and sprint speed is a bit low but he manages with his acceleration guys i trust me like he man look at that bro. look look at this bro he's like literally cooking all the defenders at once that's what the advantage of d maria is you know so really good card so let's move on to salah guys and salah has gotten all the balance stats which are needed for a right wing of course uh the pace of salah is uh, like way more compared to d maria but of course dribbling of salah won't be that much but still guys like uh, salah is someone who is having top dribbling you know 
by the gameplay so we can't actually compare the dribbling of Di Maria and Salah but when I'm gonna talk about Salah guys it's a bit different gameplay like totally the play style the gameplay is different between Salah and Di Maria now I'm gonna show you with the head to head now here you can see guys Salah with a step over and exit and look at his pace bro it's like 2x of Di Maria Di Maria was not having that like high pace but still he was managing with his acceleration there we go for Salah now what is the basic difference between these two cards is that Salah has not gotten that much high skill stun i mean like di maria is 511 tall so he's actually giving you the like the best skill move stun and when you're going to talk about the joystick then di maria has gotten bit bit better joystick compared to sala so sala could be actually you know uh, like in dribbling terms di maria could be like uh, better than sala but look at the pace bro pace is also very important head to head man look at that sala could be very explosive in the head to head that is what that's what the advantage of using him you know like uh, there are two types of player guys like one player is actually making some sort of good build ups and he's actually trying to make some sort of gaps where his left wing and right, right wing is gonna run very fast and he needs space then Salah is an appropriate good card for him doesn't matter if uh, you are taking team of the season Salah and team of the season Dembele is also very good option guys not gonna lie this and look at that bro his heel to heel stun is really explosive he also feels really fast but absolutely when you I'm gonna talk about Di Maria guys then that card is absolutely for dribblers like me I personally love Di Maria more than Salah just because of the dribbling abilities which he have gotten, the skill stun abilities, his joystick and all. But look at this one, guys. Look at this one. Absolute beautiful power shot by Salah. His shooting also feels just top, guys. That's also a certainty. There we go. His joystick is also very good. As you can see here, nice one and a finesse in the back of the net. He actually comfortably strike this finesse in the back of the net as well. So as you can see here, this is uh, this is Musiala and ball towards Salah guys. And he's empty right out there. Step over and exit. And let's go. Nice rowlet. And he gonna shoot in the back of the net. Nice comfortable strike. That was a nice goal by Salah. So that's all for this amazing gameplay video guys and at last if you're gonna ask me like we have to choose Di Maria and we have to choose Salah. If you pack Salah then that is valid and good but if you are having budget guys then you can definitely go with Salah because he has gotten a bit better pace but still you have to listen to me like Di Maria is like way cheaper compared to Salah guys but Di Maria is also not bad at all like Di Maria has gotten a better skill move stun and better dribbling better joystick compared to Salah Salah is having better pace than Di Maria that's it nothing else you know so that's all for this amazing video guys you have to choose accordingly I'm gonna stay with Di Maria in my main account because I really enjoy with him that's all for this amazing video guys uh, thanks for watching love you all let's meet in the another amazing video guys Jai Hind